Hey guys, it's me Gabby from Probable Colic, and today I will be reviewing Soldier by Julie Kagawa, which is the third book in the Talon series. So, all my like TBRs and like when I bought this book, I was convinced that this was the last book in the series. Like every time I would say, This is Soldier, the third and last book in the Talon series. So I was reading this book and I was like, I had 15 pages left of the book. And I was wondering how exactly is everything going to be wrapped up in 15 pages? It seemed impossible, but you know, Julie Kagawa is such an amazing author that I was sure that she will be, she will have done an amazing job. So I just kept on reading and something unbelievable happened in the end. And I was like, no, this can't be the end. No, 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 no. And then it turned out that there will be at least two more books in this series and probably there will be three so that it um, has six books. So after I learned that, I was a bit more able to comprehend what happened in this book. And today I will be giving you a brief summary of it, which will contain spoilers. But before I get to that, um, Talon series is about dragons. That can, that can transform into humans and they live in our society. But they are being hunted by uh, this organization called St. George, who are determined to kill off all dragons. So basically, we have Ember, who is a rogue dragon because she escaped from the da dragon organization called Talon and is out now on her own in um, the world of humans. And we have Garrett, who is a former soldier of um, St. George. We have O'Reilly, who um, is another rogue who protects people or dragons who uh, want to escape Talon. And we have Dante, who is Amber, twin brother, who is determined to serve the organization Talon. So those are the four main characters. And in the first, second and third book, we see the development in their relationships and their characters. It's very interesting, uh, at least to me. I really, really love the series. All the books I have given five out of five stars. And I think that this one definitely does not disappoint. This is all I have to say about the no spoiler part. So if you haven't read it, go read it and then come back so that we can discuss it further on. So now for those of you who have read this book, I don't really have a lot of things I want to discuss in this review, but there are definitely some very important things that happen, I think, uh, about like the last 20 pages. So um, the first thing I want to discuss is Garrett and like his development in this book. So from the beginning, he was convinced that he will be able to do it on his own and like discover all the secrets of St. George and he went to London where he met uh, Jade who is a Asian dragon. I really enjoyed this um, controversy and like this idea of how Western and Eastern dragons are so different and how they both know the stereotypes of each other but they don't really know each other. So I really like that and um, Garrett learns that uh, Ember and Riley are in danger and he immediately leaves London and comes back to the US in order to protect them, which I do believe shows that he really does care for Ember. So he finds her and in the beginning it was really strange because Ember and Garrett didn't know how to communicate and they're both like awkward with each other. Uh, but in the end, um, Ember did choose to be with him and her reasons and her emotions I will explain a bit later, but for his part, I do believe that um, he handled it pretty well, like he he didn't rush into things and he was sure that they want to be together. In the end, we find out that Garrett's parents were actually supporters of, um, of Talon and that they knew about dragons. And honestly, that didn't come to such surprise for me because we start off the book with um with Garrett's mother like hugging him and there is this dragon on like somewhere around them and like I was wondering what exactly happened why would a like dragon attack a mother and child and then I had this idea that maybe his father is a dragon or something but that didn't quite work out so anyways I'm really happy with this revelation but I don't think it really matters because, you know, 
Garrett got killed. He got killed by the leader of um, St. George, who is actually working with Talon. And, uh, like, I didn't... Like, I'm Team Riley all the way. But I still didn't want him to die this way. Because he was quite helpful, and I appreciate him being helpful. Um, so, yeah, I did kind of feel bad for him. But I definitely... If, if Riley had died, it would be another story. But Garrett dying... I really hope that this will kind of move things faster so that the St. George organization realizes its mistake and it kind of helps the rogue dragons. So I think that his sacrifice will be worth it. Then the second most important character, actually, I think she's even more important, is Ember. I, I do believe that there has been a huge character development in um, her personality because from this kind of confused girl now she's become this amazing warrior and um, she finally chose to be with Garrett and I respect her decisions even though I don't agree with them um, so she decided to be more human and to uh, you know be with him and um, in the end when Garrett died I honestly I felt really bad for her because she really, really loved him and she was able to like sacrifice um, her dragon part to be with him. And all the things that happen in this book, like finding out that Talon and St. George are kind of working together. Realizing that there is a way to help the rogues once um, uh, this, this connection between the organization is... Um, is destroyed. All of this like realization and like all this information really made this book fantastic and I did give it five out of five stars. As always I would love to read the next book and hopefully this time I know that it's not the last one. The next book is called Legion and it's coming out March 2017 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah stay tuned for that and in conclusion I really love Julie Kagawa's books. I love dragons and yeah, tell me down below how many stars you gave it and whether or not you agree with my decision that Riley is the better choice. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed finally knowing the truth that Ember and Dante are the children of the elderly womb. And oh my god, I really love this book.